file the police report and everything. So if it does pop up back up, we should be able to get it back. But the odds are not very great. Been a while since we've uh, filmed anything. I've been sick with the stomach flu and some other bug for a couple weeks, but we ended up having a blizzard. I think we had a, you did film some right after that. We had a pretty good blizzard there for a few nights and I was sicker than a dog so I couldn't get out to move any snow. I came out on Monday, today's Friday and the 180, the battery was dead, tried charging it, wouldn't take a charge, tested it, it was, got all the way down to 0% and then it froze so the battery's junk now. I couldn't get the battery out because one of the bolts had stripped on the cradle or whatever you want to call it. So we got to angle grind that off, put the new battery in, try and move some snow on, um, well, this week, pretty much the whole week, we had uh, construction workers out and they put in a new garage door. They raised it up so that my white truck can fit in there. But, so we wanna get the loader tractor going today so then we can clean all the leftover stuff up, do that, probably try and move a little bit of snow. Here, let me put my safety glasses on. Safety squints. Can you get it with the hammer now? Yeah, I'm wondering. Take my flashlight out. Kind of see. I would think we should be able to, like, at least crack that nut loose. Yeah, I think we should hit it with a hammer. Okay. I'm not saying it'll for sure work, but I think we're close. Sure. So I had uh, Kyle cut that off just because I have, for some reason, all power tools I'm okay with. Angle grinders just really sketch me out, so I had Kyle do it. And we couldn't find a cutoff wheel anywhere, so we had to use a flap disc, but it does a job the same anyway. It just takes a lot longer. Oh yeah, I can see the nut. Probably just keep grinding through it, I'd say. I didn't know how much of the nut yet off, if you were able to take the threads out or not. I thought I would maybe be able to, but nope. And I think the bolt part's actually out. I don't think I got that. <laughs> I, I've never even carried the camera this way. Well, I don't really care. Things off. Yep. Oh. I guess you guys heard me say that I'm not used to carrying the camera this way. That's because uh, during, well, right after Kyle was there and plowed snow and filmed that little bit, and one of the clips you can see in the background that the camera is sitting on a box in the shed and I went in there the next Monday or Tuesday, camera was nowhere to be seen. I had an impact driver that is also nowhere to be seen. And uh, I'm not for sure if it's not in another shed, but uh, my three foot, or my two foot torque wrench, torque, 
torque wrench was in there. Jeez. Um, but yeah, all that stuff is gone. So we got broken into and completely my fault. We got broken into probably eight years now. We would always lock everything up super tight and now that my dad's gone I wasn't as strict on keeping everything locked up. The shed was unlocked and somebody just walked right in there and took the camera and uh, that other stuff so yeah we bought a the same exact camera as what we had and a better mic that or same mic just with a bigger puff on it but we don't have the magnetic mount yet so I'm kind of carrying it goofy by the sides so if the filming is not very good today or the audio or something is a little goofy just be patient with us because it's a brand new camera and we got it set back to where we think it was so yeah but definitely sucks getting broken in two but now we got uh, a keypad on the door got cameras and a bunch of motion sensors so definitely feeling a lot better now than what we did at that time don't when you say yeah yeah I'm prepared next time they come yeah <laughs> no but for one person it is wow. it's funny so they go my way you Bring the core back. Uh, better my trend resulfate it. I don't want to touch anything metal. <laughs> Nick talked about it earlier, but basically the old door used to come to about here, and so none of these one tons would fit. So they took the header out, extended the door up another foot, and now those trucks will actually fit in there. What do you think? We're gonna load this or what? Yeah, might as well quick. Now that you got your free help here. Help. Bunch of it. <laughs> I'm gonna lose a bet. I thought that'd be sitting here till next year. <laughs> well, it is Monday now. I spent my weekend fishing mostly just because with uh, warm weather coming in probably wouldn't have any more time to fish anyway so yeah waited till Monday I haven't moved any of the snow out here but with how warm it's been it's down drastically so I did get a call about a half hour ago that they're gonna bring out the bring the new 620 out tomorrow sometime and then they're gonna take the 540 
up there as well. They're gonna just switch them out so that the 540 gets serviced and it's not like last year where two weeks before we should be planting they decided they had time to take it in so that'll be good. I gotta take the blade off. I'm just gonna run it up to the front of the shed, drop it right where it's at up there and then I'm probably gonna have to move a little bit of snow just to get the bean head out but I'm gonna get that cleaned up right now as well so yeah I'm thinking if I just move one little path tomorrow just just wide enough to get it out and I'll probably try and go down there and get it so that the water can flow out a little bit easier just because it was a little scary. I thought I was gonna get the truck stuck just with how much frost is already coming out of the gravel underneath that snow. It's, yeah, it does not feel like it should be uh, the end of July. It feels like it should be middle of March with the weather we're having. But yeah, I'm gonna start by just kind of cleaning the bean head up. I wish that I had the reel lifted when I unhooked from it just so it's easier to get at like that lip there on the center canvas, but oh well, yeah, we'll start getting this cleaned up, so we're all ready tomorrow. Well, I started cleaning it out, I got about a quarter of it done and I don't know if how many of you have ever smelt uh, beans when they start to sprout. Terrible smell. It. They're not all sprouting, but there's a few in there that did, and just god awful smell. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow where I can take it outside and get downwind of it. That's just one of my. That's a smell that I can never get comfortable with. It just. Yeah. So, gonna wait till tomorrow when that's outside. I got a little bit of it done, but it's hard not to do it and make a mess. So, just gonna take it outside and throw it all on the ground. But now I'm gonna start up this 540 and let that warm up a little bit. She hasn't ran in a while, so.
Alrighty, that's detached now. I didn't realize how uh, angled the cylinder is on that. Tomorrow, uh, what, or whenever this comes back, I'll have to hook all the hydraulics up and kind of suck that back in. But no, should be pretty easy tomorrow. Just gotta scoop a little path and get the bean head out, swap quad tracks, and clean that out and put that away for the winter. So, should be pretty simple and easy. But, I'm guessing that's not the way that that's going to go. <laughs> Sadly, but... I know it's kind of been a weird video, but with just waiting on people right now, we are waiting on Titans for a little while, and I've been I wanted to go fishing and all that stuff so yeah I know this it's gonna be about a three-day video which is hard for the viewers to keep along with but sorry about that we'll talk to you guys tomorrow alrighty it's the next day Titans coming with the new quad track they j called and they said they're just leaving Marshall so I got about 30 minutes I wasn't able to move any of the snow just because of how uh, it's melted and refroze, it's harder than a rock. So, right now what I'm going to try and do with the bean head for now, I'm going to bring it over the tongue over here, see if I can't just push the front end over by hand and then be able to sneak the 540 out of its setting spot. It should work just fine, but never know. So let's give that a try. I'm gonna start the 540 so that's warmed up when I decide to head down there and grab it because they're gonna sit on the road just a mile down the way on the tar. So they're coming down our gravel road where it's a pretty sloppy mess. Alrighty. That went a lot easier than I thought it was gonna. It, I just put my back on that little piece of metal and it pushed right over, so. That was surprising. The old one, you could have never done that with. The, the bearings on those wheels must be a lot better or something. But now I have plenty of room to back out to 540 and get down there so they're not waiting on us. down here would be a lot better just with the way that the roads are right now they're very sloppy but no I'm glad that this one's finally finally here and that this one's heading up Marshall so early in the year but I don't think there's much of anything that they really have to do on this one other than service I don't think well the one remote kept uh, disconnecting from the hydraulics other than that there didn't have any issues in the fall with it so no this is a good feeling getting the new one and then having the, your second one heading up for service
it's weird being in the newer tractor uh, cab and not having the IV or the CVX transmission. But this is. I'm really happy with this. It's. I didn't see any real dents or dings in it at all. So. So far, everything looks really good on it. And sounds good and everything. So. Yeah, let's get it in the shed and then we'll do a walk around of it. Alrighty. So, I got the new one home. There's not much different about it from the, the old one to this one. There's just a few things. Um, monitor in it is a Pro 1200, I believe. And then the old one would have been the Pro 700. That's a, there's a big jump in technology there. And then the tracks on this are uh, 30 inch belts compared to the old one which had the 36 inch belts so did lose a little bit of the belt surface but I don't think that it's really going to be noticeable just going that little difference in belt, belt width but you have to wait to see until we run it in the field more but yeah, other than that, it, I'm doing my first walk around of it right now, but it looks pretty, pretty good. I'm not seeing any dents at all, really. Dents or dings, scuffs, anything like that, which is pretty <laughs> uncommon, but yeah, everything looks pretty pretty good on it. The only spot where there's a little paint rubbage is up top on the platform where uh, you kick your boots off but that's <laughs> that's gonna be expected. But, no, it looks really nice. It was a year old came off of a lease and then we were able to pick it up. Got just a little over 600 hours on it so everything should be worked out of its system by now any flaws or anything like that and yeah I'm happy because that our old one was just starting to get to the point where it was starting to have some issues so and I wanted to point out the fact that backed over went over it twice with the quad track and it didn't even hardly go an inch down so the snow is staying until it decides to melt which probably take about five days I'm, I'm thinking but yeah I think we're gonna end the video there you got everything I pretty much wanted to do or that I can do so yeah if you like today's video like subscribe leave a comment if you have something you need us to hear other than that, you guys have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.